Hello loves! Do you remember that cake that I messed up several times with the fondant and I had to reapply it three separate times because it just kept tearing on me? This is not my homemade fondant by the way. Yes, this is a repeat video but I wanted to do a more detailed version on how I created this cake for you guys. So after three different attempts, I finally was like, you know what, I'm just going to do the paneling method because that's the only way that'll probably work best with this cake. And what you do is you basically roll out a long piece of fondant. I wish I would have recorded it for you guys. I was just so frustrated that I didn't press record. You basically just wrap it around the cake and then you make a separate circle for the top. Now I didn't add anything to the top of this cake because it is going to be covered with another tier. Then I did the quilted pattern design and a lot of people think it looks like toilet paper, but I love it. I think it looks very cushiony, you know? For the top tier, it's just a cream cake and it's best to just go with cream with gold sprinkles. Now this part, the sprinkles get absolutely everywhere. And I've seen some people take it and roll it in a thing of sprinkles, but I didn't do that. So this is an LOL themed cake and I believe her name is Queen Bee. Customer wanted it a little more 3D. So for the dress, I added ribbons of fondant, just ruffled up a little bit. And I continued all the way up until her neck. If you're looking at it from the up point of view, it looks awkward. It makes her neck look super long. But if you're looking at it straight on, then it looks pretty good. Let's add some more 3D to this by making the hair look 3D. So I piped on black buttercream and look how cute that looks. I loved it. This was like the funnest part. Then I went ahead and painted every other stripe or ruffle. Painting gold and having it come out like that is so satisfying. I love doing it. I also did the hair, but for the hair, you have to make sure that the cream has been chilled in the fridge so that it's hard. Otherwise, you really can't paint it like this. And this is the final product. I love how it turned out. I hope you do too.